All right, guys, in the, the top left, as the red Protoss player, it's all to play for here in the winner's bracket. It's game number three with the series tied up at 1-1. Can he do it? Representing LGIM, former GSL champion, Seed. And he's going to be facing off against the blue Protoss in the bottom right-hand corner, representing a Team Liquid, another Protoss champion in Hero. Man, you were born to do those camera players. No, I actually have a great backup job. If uh, if I ever, if anything ever happens to NASL, man, I think I'm just going to become IPL stream number three observer. Done, sorted. We've uh, <laughs> we sorted out all the potential career options right here. That was good. So man. It was good that was to have a uh, plan B, man. It is. But of course, you want to make sure Plan A continues to succeed. And you're doing a fantastic job over there. Let's Thanks, see if you can't do both simultaneously, Frodo, and you're bossing it up on both fronts. So uh, let's keep <laughs> it that way. I know NASL is going on right now, and uh, they're having their playoffs match. Lots of really cool matches going on um, across StarCraft too. This is some of the best month of StarCraft. Not just because of how many, the quantity of games, but the quality of games. We've seen some. Really, really high-level decision-making. Even Seed showing off lots of variability that kind of made Hero second-guess himself. Sure. He forced so many sentries out of Hero that didn't really do much because he got a one Colossus push. You know, yeah. it's, it's like stuff like that's really cool that uh, you know Hero has to kind of be cautious of. Now, Ohano is a map where actually proxy gates is sometimes very popular. You actually can tuck one right here and put two gateways on the top. Sure, yeah. So very, be very, very sneaky. Be very careful of that. And uh, neither side going to be going for shenanigans like that, though. In this particular game, we see uh, both gases being taken from both players. So everything fairly normal so far. Gateway's about two complete. And uh, Frodan, any predictions? Of the series? Man, I don't know. I can't really call one player to win over the other. It's really tough because I feel like... I feel like if you asked me about Seed maybe a few months ago when he was just dominating P MC and PvP... Yeah, sure. That, a lot that was of, amazing. A lot of great build order counters. I would say Seed's mind games were uh, on a level of his own. But yep. I feel like Hero is really starting to turn the page again. I know it sounds like, oh, I'm hopping on a bandwagon, but uh, Hero has really grown as a player. You can just see the way he conducted himself at DreamHack versus maybe a few months ago even in, in NASL. Like Hero, mm -hmm. when he was playing Stefano... He looked devastated. He lost 0-3. Like, it, was <laughs> it wasn't even really close he, there. So. He is a really emotional player. He really is. And uh, he, he, I mean, you know, he's really overjoyed when he wins, but he does take losing, like, really badly as well. Or I, I should say maybe not badly, but it has a great effect on him emotionally. And uh, with that, that's been a theme of his time and time again in tournaments. Yep. Meanwhile, Seed is more of the, the calm player. Like, even when he won GSL, man, he was, like, keeping his eyes closed, like, just taking in the moment kind of thing. He's not, like, the guy who necessarily always, you know, sharply gets down himself and is yeah. really depressed. That's, I mean, he's, he's a guy that's more oh. stable. Now, oh, he is going to choose to go for, oops, sorry, he's going to choose to go for a Stargate play. Now, he's doing it off of two gates initially, mm. making it seem like he's going for a Stalker opening, right? He show, oh, oh, just kidding, but I mean, the way he was <laughs> going to go if the probe suck around and uh, seemed so like a stalker opening. both sides are pretty identical in their stargate timings as well says so hero goes for the exact same thing this is going to be pretty interesting here getting his second gateway a little bit later but we have uh, identical builds coming out of here on ohana yeah. and uh stargate versus stargate pvp man this is the more conventional build two zealot two century nanny one does this a lot back when he was not retired slayer's puzzle did this a lot on the mm -hmm. korean server and i know genius was also <laughs> trying to this out as well when he played against nanny uh this is a more unconventional one because you s okay and i think heroes especially things like well zealot stalker century that's just an odd mix of units it could be anything right yes it's, for sure it's an assortment it's it's a box of chocolates any anything you don't know what to expect but they're pretty tasty no matter what. I suppose so. If you <laughs> like a phoenix beam to the face. <laughs> well, if you have that phoenix beam to the face, Frodan, it's not attacking you because it has to <laughs> lift you. So you're all right. Yeah, so I mean, that's kind of the conventional build, right? Off of one gate into two gates. Uh, but see, you went for two gates into Stargate. He just has very unique builds that doesn't seem to necessarily pertain to the standard rules of PvP optimization. And Seed's going to be the first to move out across the map with his Phoenixes, so a hero will be able to see them as they move in. The robotic facility going down for hero as well. Yep. Pretty standard in case he's going for blink right afterwards. But now this is like the awkward moments where he's like, oh, 
Well, I have more Phoenixes. <laughs> I'm just going to crush your Phoenix count. And Hero oh, gets a big nice. advantage. Big plays from Liquid Hero. Just like that, 200 gas is gone. And Seed has to be face palming himself. He, I mean, wow, he canceled Tech Structure. He's going to expand because that's the right thing to do. But still, he is not happy with how things transpire because he is very far behind. Yeah, he really is right now. Uh, Hero as well with great reactions, it has to be said. Because when you see those Phoenixes come in, you move so that you're close enough that you can take those Phoenixes out. That was fantastic taking out both of them for none of his. And now Seed only has that one Phoenix to his name, the ground on it, unable to keep up quite as much. And Hero is just going to be able to dance with these Phoenixes all day long once he has that advantage. Yeah, this is really funny because I've seen players like super tilt and say, well, if you're going Phoenix, I'm going to go double Stargate Phoenix. And then I've, I've sw I kid you not, I've seen people respond to that. Oh, wow, hold that thought. We have a force field on the bottom of the ramp. Um, but I've seen people who respond to that say, all right, then then I'm going into triple Stargate. It's really funny. Like, it's a weird, like, I'm just going to one-up well, you. Uh, recently, at MC Grubby, game five at IEM, there were 60 Phoenixes out on the map, man. <laughs> like, things can get pretty crazy. And oh. at the end of the day, a couple of Archons. Oh, I'm sad uh, I missed that game. I was watching a lot of DreamHack, so oh, I, was that, like, I was bouncing back and forth between streams. That game was mind-blowing on so many levels. Yeah. Like, wow. Oh, that, that, that's all I'm going to say there. If you guys want to check it out, check out game number five of MC Grubby from IEM. I am Singapore. We do have a little bit of an engagement here. The Phoenix is trying uh, to get on top of each other. Oh. Trying to stop the Nexus from going down wow, there. he lets it go up with oh only 200 health. Uh, Hero is able to kill off everything. Seed's in big trouble. Oh Very my goodness. Very nice there. So uh, Seed it, almost in desperation coming in with the Phoenix. is trying to lift everything to stop the base going down. And Hero saying absolutely not. Kills the Nexus and calmly gets out. Really nicely played there from our Liquid Protoss. Oh no. Seed has no follow-up tech structures. He's got nothing. He's not even making anything more. He's just going to try to go and attack. This is his last ditch effort. He's got nothing else. And as long as Hero just force fields, he's got Immortals on the way. Hero's played this out beautifully. He even has a third gas mining. Oh, Hero's got everything he needs to hold this off. He even has Phoenixes with practically full energy on some of them. All he has to he can lift up all the Stalkers, force field the units, and pretty much just uh, destroy the rest of the units from this point on. Yeah, no, he's uh, he's in a supreme position right now. That Immortal on top of the ramp is going to be able to do him wonders as well. Seed waiting for some reinforcement units, but all the time he's doing this hero, he's able to get some reinforcements of his own. The probe goes down after scouting that army, and uh, here comes the warp in from Seed. That'll probably mean he's going to go Guardian Shield enabled, going up the ramp. Here we go. The Phoenixes are actually behind somewhere, but the they are going to be able to get there to lift up a couple of units in time. There we go. And uh, the force fields are good from Hero. It looks like this is going to get completely put down from Seed. He's going to have to run away, and Hero is sitting pretty. Yeah, Hero's going to advance to the winner's bracket. Round number four, well, he'll have to test his PvP against San again. Seed is not... I mean, he's pushing up the ramp, but it's futile. He really can't do anything. Two Immortals against only Stalkers. Great choice to lift. Also, the Zealots. That way, you can just focus down the Stalkers. GG! Liquid Hero looking super strong on IPO5.